Alright guys, today I have a Panasonic CF Y5. Um, I will be removing the LCD assembly. So, here we go. First things first, we're going to remove the battery. Simply slide the lock. This one locks into the unlock position, and then you slide this one over. While holding it, you slide it outward. We're going to remove these rubber feet. It's got two screws on it. I'm using a Phillips head number one bit on this DeWalt screwdriver. These simply lift up and away. <clears throat> I'm going to start removing these screws. From the bottom here, these the screws I'm removing right now hold the keyboard, and those run one at. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit. Um, Say so zoom. Uh, so it goes. There's two on the hard drive cover. One that's in a deep area, uh, in this uh, hole here goes all the way down. There's that one there at the tail end, and then six others. So there's a total of eight screws that hold in the keyboard. <clears throat> We're just going to go ahead and remove all the screws from the bottom of the case, but I always start off with the ones for the keyboard, then I set those aside. I am using a number zero Phillips on my my driver here. There's one up here on the corner. This is just a case screw. Oh, let me get my other screwdriver. This one, for some reason, is just not picking up. This is still a number zero. All right, so then these I just kind of set up the way that I'm taking them off. Okay, and then we move down to where the RAM cover is, and then we remove these two. I just in the order that I am taking them out because it just makes it easier then you don't have to remember where they go. All right, now that we have those off, we are going to open up the, the unit, and we're going to remove this cover here um, on both sides. There's the ones by the USB, and then there's the ones over by your DC jack and that and that stuff. Uh, for that, I'm going to be using a metal spudger or pry tool. Just stick it in the, the gap here in between the case, and then just gently pry it up, and then that'll just come out. And now we're doing that for the other side as well. Right here by your VGA and your DC input, you just kind of get in there, in the gap, push up, lift and push upwards and then they'll just come out. Alright, now that we have those off, we can go ahead and remove the keyboard. The keyboard will come off. I come in from the side here, uh, sometimes from the left side, because there's no double sided tape and just gently run the metal pry tool down the line to break the bond between the keyboard and the double sided tape. You have to be careful with these keyboards. Uh, they do bend very, very easily. They get deformed very quickly. Uh, you put too much pressure, they'll deform.
compartment and then it won't sit flat and once you put it back in. Um, the nice thing is you don't have to worry about ripping the ribbon cable because the ribbon cable is... Ah, see, this one is all tweaked now. It's got all, all bent. So now you have to try to bend it as much as possible to where it kind of looks normal. You see how it's all bubbled up? I made this, I'm, I don't edit anything out. My mistake. So now I gotta try to, fr uh, to fix this, so. There's this aluminum plating back here, you know, and they put double-sided tape at the weirdest area, so. They'll get you. you just gotta be careful. You could warm it up with, uh, with a heat gun. Um, you know, but uh, just run. There's a double-sided tape that runs, it runs along the top and the bottom by the DVD drive, okay? So just uh, keep that in mind. Okay? Just use the metal pry tool to cut that double-sided tape here. Now we're gonna remove the keyboard ribbon cables. Just using a uh, plastic pry tool to undo that. Take this one out. Okay, taking out the second ribbon cable, there we go, and then this keyboard is pretty much very, very, very tweaked. So right now what I'm doing is I'm just trying to kind of bend it as much as you possibly can so it doesn't look really weird once you uh, you put it back. You know, you can kind of tell where... So we'll just tweak this a little bit and just bending it. Hopefully that'll work. We'll just put that aside. Let me go ahead and just close this little flap here. And then now we have uh, three black screws that run along the top of the case here. And what I do is, uh, you know, it's a good thing to do is just grab a Sharpie, mark your screws, right where they go. That way you don't forget about it. Then you don't have to think about it. Okay, so we'll take those three black screws and we'll just set those aside. Then we got to remove three screws from here, here, and here. Okay, and then that'll undo the DVD drive. But the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our pry tool, just pry that open. You just push the door further back and it'll actually release it. I'm just wiping some of the dust off of here with my finger, not touching the lens at all. Don't wanna touch the lens. We have a total of four screws within this DVD drive here, two on the side of it, and then there is, I believe there's, this cover has got to come off, I think this comes off, just the same way that the other ones came off, we'll just take our metal pry tool, we'll stick our pry tool here in the gap and just lift up on it, just run it along. <coughs> And there we go. So now that that's out, we got uh, we exposed the other antenna here for your Wi-Fi. So we're gonna remove those screws now. We're gonna start off with removing the ones that are on the DVD drive itself, and then I keep these together. Okay. 
Sleeper Nerds, you can send your emails to idiots at freeburnoutwoods.com. We'll just go ahead and remove these. There's four in here. Start removing the screws from the antenna. Okay, and then I separate those. So now we can just lay, lay that down there. And then there's two screws on the side of the case here. And then we'll get into the other antenna, which is the Bluetooth antenna. The Bluetooth antenna has one short screw and one really long screw, so the long screw goes closest to the LCD. And like I said before, I keep all these screws in order that I am taking them out in. That way I don't have to think about it and I don't have any extra screws left over after I'm done with the job. Okay. Now we can move the antennas out of the way. Just get these out of the way a little bit like that. And then we can lift up. But before you lift up under this little flap, we have to disconnect a few things. We have to disconnect actually just a couple things. I'm going to use my tweezers to get a good grip on them. Uh, it's just these connectors here. Okay, You just slide these out. There we go. Now that those are out, now we can go ahead and lift up on this and always do this very gentle don't just reef on it you know don't want to break anything because right under this you have more ribbon cables you have the one that goes to your dvd drive to your motherboard for your touchpad and <clears throat> what is that one i believe that one controls the speaker or something like that so since we are just trying to remove the lcd bezel I am not going to completely remove the palm rest. Why am I not going to do that? Because I don't want to have to deal with reconnecting these things. So I'm just going to go ahead and place this down at an angle like that. Okay, this is very simple. You could twist this that way. Okay, or you could hold it right up, uh, just rest it up against your chest. We're going to have to disconnect the video cable and we have to remove a couple other things in here. Uh, let me zoom in so that you can probably see, hopefully see what I'm doing. Um, we're right in this area here. See if I can get it to focus. All right, so we're going to be peeling back this black shielding here. Just get up under there. Start. Be very gentle. Be careful on where you're lifting stuff because, as you can see, it's pulling this antenna with it. I don't want the antenna to rip. I just want to have access to my video cable. Okay, so now I can remove that. That's out. <clears throat> um, also, looks like this cable runs through under here, so we're going to disconnect this little plug. Okay, and that one goes under there, so we're going to go ahead, lift up on this one, and we're just going to slide this. We're going to feed the cable, the wire here, right under that black cable there. Okay, and then that should be two out of the three things that we have to disconnect. And then right over here, above your processor chip, there's another connector under this black tape here. And right now, all I'm doing is I'm just disconnecting the things that we're gonna be removing from the motherboard, okay? So then you could just put this black tape there, or you can, re uh, don't reuse it, just use new Capton tape. <clears throat> so once we unplug this, We are all set. We could just leave this black uh, shield, the shielding tape that they put on there. We just leave that alone. Set that down like that. We're going to add new thermal paste, obviously, or new thermal compound. We're not going to reuse the old one. So now that we have 
those wires disconnected from our motherboard and we know that that is all that we need to disconnect from the motherboard in order for this to actually come out we're going to remove <clears throat> one more screw and this is the the holder for your fan there's one little plate holding it down this has this one screw and this plate set those aside you just um, have to work at it get a good grip on it and then uh, let me see if I can get it with my tweezers get a better hold of it or something yep okay so now we just set that aside and we have tape holding the connectors down so all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my razor blade cutting decent uh, space away from the cables and then that'll release the bundle of cables so that they're not all over the place and then we just have two more screws to remove one on each side of the hinge there's one there's two and now we can just simply lift our hinge away after we remove those two screws see if you can see there all right so now we have our LCD assembly out from our CFY5 okay <clears throat> and now to replace it you just reverse the steps um, by putting the LCD bezel back on putting the two screws in running your wires connect those to where the the corresponding connectors on the motherboard place your plate put everything back in then you just simply fold this back down like this after you put your thermal compound back on this computer and you'll be set to go all right well thanks for watching i hope this helps um sorry for not actually showing you how to put it back together but i actually had to take another one apart because this one i have one with a bad motherboard with good lcd and this has got a bad lcd so i am not putting it back together so again I apologize for that but I hope this helps you know uh, uh, help you get it all taken apart um, this is good to remove your DVD drive uh, whatever else you need to get to um, hard drive cable alright well enough and enough is enough have a good day and again thanks for watching